Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick uh, January sales update video. This is my first month as a full-time reseller. Um, graduated college in December and decided to take January to try out how successful I would be if I could put all of my time into reselling. So I'm not uh, unhappy at all with the numbers. Um, total revenue was $5,780 in sales. Um, I was going to make this video on February 1st, but I was too excited. So, um, And as you can see, I sold 335 units. Average sale uh, was $17.25. That is something I'm very happy about because my average sale for um, 2015, or 2016 was around $11. Um, so average sale price has gone up. Um, and as you can see, my primary source of income is books. Um, out of those units that I sold, 321 of them, 95% is the number that I give people most often when they say, how much do you sell books? How much is your how much of your income comes from books? Um, a small percentage came from kitchen and home and everything else. Um, but yeah, my primary source of income is just books, FBA. So uh, diving into the numbers a little bit. I keep a spreadsheet of all my costs, um, and I have put a lot of money back into this business uh, recently. Um, I'm trying to put as much as I can back into the business. So my first uh, payout was $929, my first January payout. Um, second payout was uh, yeah, $1,543, and then I have another payout coming on February 3rd, and that one is around $1,500 right now. Um, but I wanted to add up on my total costs. So total costs were $2,123. Um, and so my payout so far were only $2473. But what this number is, is I'm I'm using this for tax purposes and I am going to try and show a loss for uh for this if I can. Um, realistically, I mean I have things like gas on here, my lunch when I go sourcing, uh shipping fees. Every time I buy books, here it has, I'm trying to keep up with it. I'm going to do one of these each month. So for this one, I would say, oh, that's a trip to Goodwill, $10.41. And I'm also filing all the receipts that I keep up with. Um, some of these were, um, all of these actually are books that I source online to resell on Amazon. So as you can see, like this, um, uh, I believe I had some of these in my sales update videos. Clinical psychology, I bought that for $16 on Amazon. I resold it for $55 on Amazon. Um, so I was just trying to keep up with that. But this column is my total cost of goods and also my, um, you know, my gas and my thrifting trips. And I also spent some money on an, on an Airbnb going to Nashville to do a thrifting trip. So I put that on here as well. That was $178. So um, I'm very happy with my first month. Um, I had a sales goal actually of uh, $2,000 because if you take a look at last month for December 1st through December 31st, we go from 57.80 to yeah, only about 1,600 in sales. So and average average item was way way lower so I'm very happy with my progress um, it just shows that that you can make as much money as time you if you put the time into this you know there's no limits um, so I actually uh, had to dispose of about 175 units today which really sucked um, a lot of you were asking me about the long-term storage fees and that's something that I had to you know that personally affected my business because um, I have around 400 units that are, you know, going to be charged if I don't get rid of them. So today I got rid of about 200, and I'll probably do some more later in the week because that February 15th is coming up on us quick, guys. So please pay attention to that if you um, are not aware of it. There's a lot of YouTubers who are talking about it right now. And it, it's not a, I mean, it is a game changer, but it's not going to ruin your business. So don't think of it like that. Like, I think these are, I got rid of all of these. These should be pro, uh, these should be disposed of pretty soon. Um, there's no reason for me to get them sent back to me because they're pretty much worthless. If they don't sell on Amazon, where are they going to sell? Um, I think it's like 50 cents if you get them sent back to you. So it's just not worth it. It's 15 cents to have them disposed of. So um, uh, the, the storage fees are not, you know, it's not pleasant, but it's not, it's not going to ruin me by any means. So I was thinking about fe February and moving forward. And um, obviously January was a good month, but that was because I was super motivated and, you know, just killing it, going on sourcing trips two hours away. Um, 
very excited about the business. So for February, I'm going to have a sales goal of uh, $3,000. Um, and that's sales, that's not profit. But I'm setting my sales goal low because if I reach that, then I feel accomplished. And then, you know, anything over that is just cake. Because for, for January, my sales goal was only $2,000 and I sold over 5000 So um, I am super proud of my first month as an FBA seller. Um, I've had a lot of friends and family say, what are you doing after graduation? And it feels weird to say, well, I'm running a business. So um, moving forward, just going to keep sourcing, keep buying books. And also I'm trying to find some wholesale opportunities, but those are you know not as easy as you would think. Um, and also you have to spend a lot more money to make money with wholesale. And uh, that's not what I'm crazy about doing. I love selling books because the cost is so low and the profit margins are so good. So if you guys have any questions, um, I'd be happy to answer them. But this is just a quick update on my first month uh, as a full-time reseller.